All right, all right. So welcome back to Studio 39, man. I'm Rob Odie. This is another episode of Spotlight 39. Before we get into it, please hit that subscribe button. Please continue to do what you do and share on all your social media. We really are doing big things over here, and it's all because of you guys. So I appreciate that much love. Now that that's out of the way, man, let's get into it. We got another man with a another young man with another story to share. So the floor is yours, my man. Tell us who you are, where you're from, what you play, all that fun stuff, and we'll have some good conversation. Uh, yeah, my name is Jalen Tucker. I play defensive end and defense tackle at Miss Santa Fe. I'm a junior this year. Uh, yeah. Junior, defensive end, right? Defensive tackle. Yes, sir. Cool, man. Did you have a season this year? Uh, yeah, we had a pretty good season. Yeah, pretty we good season. Okay, all so the tell way me about it. The, yeah, all the way to the, um, the state. Like, it was crazy. I mean, we started off only two. Oh wow! Um, yeah, rough start. People, they they doubted us, man. Honestly, like they weren't, they didn't think we were gonna take it all the way. But I knew that we had a special group, and like, just we found, we just found a way throughout yeah, COVID and everything. Yeah, it's we, crazy uh, we stuck times, through right? it. Yeah, yeah, stuck through it. Um, spaced out. And we just kept fighting, and we ended up taking it all the way, and it just didn't end up how we wanted it to. Okay, okay. Well, look, man, you you got to the dance, though, right? That's, of course. That's, you know, what I mean, you you got to the dance where others didn't, so that's a you know that's a big deal in itself, regardless of the outcome. You you guys left it all on the field, right? Oh uh, yeah. Cool, man. So so tell me a little bit about your individual season. How'd that go for you? Uh, I believe it's a big improvement, and. I'm still pretty new to football. This is my this is my second year. Okay. And yeah, and I made pretty big strides last year. Uh, played like just JV, didn't really get in at all varsity wise, reps and or anything, even game, any game uh, reps. But this year it was a little different. I started as a backup for the seniors. Okay. And got in a little bit more, uh, was a little bit more involved in, in just football in general. Okay. And I feel like I got a lot better. And starting the recruiting process was, has been just, it's been crazy, honestly. That's cool, man. So yeah, you you say you know you you started off a little you know rocky two years ago, right? And then then mm-hmm. moved your way up to the point where now you're getting that play time, right? Yeah. And then uh, you know so so. What what are some of those strengths that really you know led the way you know that got you to to start seeing some action more? Oh, uh, I just I started um, reaching out to my uh, position coach and asking what exactly could I do okay. to uh, see more of the field and what like what should I do like in my off time when I'm you know at home stuff like that that I can just do to improve my game and my knowledge. Uh, period okay that's cool man so yeah go ahead go ahead what do you say oh uh, well yeah he told me that uh i need to just like watch film uh watch football from more of a defensive angle and just learn the game more because i'm still very new okay and a lot of stuff that i need to uh get down and stuff so yeah. yeah so so let's flip that right so those are the things that that you know you started to to really improve in, and let's let's kind of talk about some areas of opportunity, right? So, what are some focus areas that you're going to take from this season? And, and you know, obviously, you learned uh, quite a bit, I'm sure. And what are you going to do and focus on during the off season to get bigger, better, stronger, faster going going into next season? Um, I'm going to learn how to work hands a lot, and okay. uh, I need to work uh, work on. Uh, pass rushing okay most definitely getting stronger and splitting double teams uh, and things of that matter just working on my uh hand eye coordination and different things like that i got you and uh what what state are you in again oklahoma oklahoma okay so a little little far away from the illinois area but um if, yeah. if you look on my twitter man there's a there's a gentleman named coach solomon uh from fist football academy and that's literally what he specializes in is everything defensive line. Uh, so he might be a, a good person to reach out to, you know, just for networking purposes and, and, and you know, see what he could lend you as far as some advice, man, because he's a, a wealth of knowledge. Gotcha. Cool, man. So, look, uh, you know, 
uh, we'll get into the recruitment process because you said that's been a little crazy, right? But let's get into the classroom part first, man. How's the grades, you know, looking? Um, grades are actually pretty good. I do uh, prioritize those. Awesome. Out of anything, because if, if I don't have good grades, I can't play, obviously. There you go. So I usually, right now I'm sitting at a 3.7, 3.6 around there. You know, a modest 3.6, 3.7, right? Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Plenty of room for improvement, right? <laughs> of course. Yeah. Always. <laughs> no, nah, man, I like it. I like it. So, so look, let's get into the fun stuff, man. How's your recruiting going right now? I mean, it's going good. It's a steady process. Yeah. Uh, I'm being as patient as I can, you know, um, it is kind of, um, uh, kind of hard though, <laughs> I have to admit, because, uh, due to the people who I am around, I'm sure. around all these crazy, uh, athletes, and it seems like stuff just comes so easy for them. It's hard to stay uh, vigilant sometimes, and I have sure. to realize that I have to stay within my own lane. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you know Talon Cetron, Colin Oliver, all those people who just are big, yeah, freak athletes. With, with, so, with massive blessings, right? Big, yes, exactly. So how yeah, how is sorry. your how's your personal recruiting process going? You know, coaches reaching out to you on social media, they reaching out to you through your school, reaching directly out uh, to you. What's uh it they like? it's been yeah, it's been not through me. I've gotten all of my uh messaging and everything. I don't know about if anything's came through school because if so it hasn't gotten to me. Okay. Um I have been reached out by a couple coaches looking at uh D3, sure. uh, NIA type stuff. I personally reached out to a lot of coaches, gotten a lot of um, interest from schools, D2 and stuff like that. None D1 just yet. Okay. But, I mean, it seems like uh, it's going pretty good. Yep, and, and and you still got, what, whole another season to go, right? Yes, sir. So you're only going to get bigger, stronger, faster, right? That You're only going to put out some more film. And those those coaches, you know, once once they start to roll in, man, it seems like it's a, a steam engine, right? You know, one mm -hmm. one program wants you, then everybody's like, oh, okay, well, you know, yeah. they want they, they want them, you know, maybe we want them too. Let me get this guy a look, right? So uh, so by all means, you know, don't give up, man. Keep pushing, keep grinding. Uh, you know, more blessings will come for sure, man. You got a you got a, a wealth of talent, uh, and the film don't lie, right? So um, sure. yeah, man. So let's transition to probably the most important part of the the segment, right? And that's uh, who you are as a person, you know, because obviously we can look at film, you know, we can look at your, your Twitter and see everything, you know, football related. But uh, who are you outside of the game? Right. What are you, in, you know, involved with? What do you enjoy doing? All that fun stuff. Who are you as a person? Um, outside of me playing football, I'm a pretty well put kid. Honestly, I I just I have a brother his name's Elijah all I really do is I just uh focus on him okay because your brother yeah he uh because my dad died a year ago oh, I'm sorry so now I'm kind of the man of the house yeah for sure just me him and my mom so yeah I kind of just try to make sure he stays on like a, the right path which he, yeah, he's doing a pretty good job of oh, that's great and uh yeah and I mean, uh, outside of sports, I really, <laughs> I don't really have that much to say about me. Like, um, I do like to stay on my grades. Um, I don't go out like that. <laughs> I have a couple of friends and everything that we do together is related to sports. Nah, man, that's cool. That's cool, man. So look, We've been uh, we've been chatting for a little while, man. I think we got a, a pretty solid snapshot of who you are as an individual. Obviously, who you are as a you know a student athlete. Um, but I'm gonna close it out with the same question I do every single time, man. And that's what motivates and what drives you to want to wake up tomorrow and be that much more successful than you were today. Mm -hmm. Um, just the fact that if I don't, somebody is. <laughs> well put. If I don't get up and do something, somebody is getting up and doing something. It's just that thought of somebody getting getting ahead of me okay so so stepping yeah. in front of you and taking an opportunity that could potentially yeah, be yours exactly. right exactly and, exactly and you won't be outworked by anybody right uh, no <laughs> <laughs> i like it. always preach that i'm the hardest worker in practice nah man i like it so look man i appreciate your time for the viewers out there man please give this young man a look 
you know, he's got a ton of talent, man. He's, he's, he's pretty fresh at the game, but, you know, the film don't lie. So make sure you give him a look. Please hit that subscribe button. Please, you know, continue to share it on all your social media, man. For you, I wish you nothing but the best, man. I can't wait to, to see where the future, you know, takes you. Uh, it's pretty exciting. you got a whole other year, man, to, to get bigger, better, stronger, faster. So stay safe, stay healthy. I'm Rob Odie. This was another episode of Spotlight 39. Until next time, we'll chat.